Hey folks, welcome back to another video. So, you want to install Blade and Sorcery Nomad mods on the Quest 2, and you have a PC or laptop, so you want to know the easiest way of doing it? Well, have no fear, Wackman is here. Today, I'm going to show you two ways of installing Blade and Sorcery Nomad mods using a PC or laptop. It doesn't need to be a gaming one, just a simple one that can transfer files. But one method I will show you will be very easy in the short term, and the other one will be very easy in the long run. So, if you enjoy the video and find it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Talking about easy, remember we have a Wackmas giveaway on right now, where I will be giving away any game that you want on the Oculus Quest platform. And to enter, just like the video, subscribe to the channel, put on bell notifications and comment hashtag Wackmas21 down below. Well, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so now the game has updated to version 10.2 at the time of this video. One thing it did was automatically create the mods folder. However, to be able to get that, you do need to launch the game and go to the character selection screen if you haven't already. Once you've done that, the mods folder will be created. Okay, so first the short term easy method. So first we need to download the Nomad mods we want. So go to nexusmods.com and then in the search box type Nomad and then select game, then search. Make sure it's the Nomad version of Blade and Sorcery that you select. Once there, just find a mod that you like such as the lightsaber one or whichever one you want. Click into it. You should read the description in case there's anything in the mod you need to know about. Then click files. Then click manual download on the version you want if it has multiple. Then press slow download. And it will take 5 seconds and download the file. You may need to register or log into Nexus Mods if you haven't already. Now you need to have an extractor application installed on your PC. Such as either WinZip or WinRAR. They're free so download it if you don't. Then we are just going to extract the mods. So double click the zip file and press extract and choose the location to extract the mod to. Once you've done that to all the mods, now we simply need to connect your Quest 2 to your PC using a USB-C to USB cable. You can even use a phone charger as that's what I use. Then press allow in the headset to allow the PC to access the Quest 2 files. Then in my PC or this PC if it's called that, it will show Quest 2 connected. Double click into it. Then internal storage. Then Android. Then data. Then find the game folder com.warpfrog.bladeandsorcery It will be near the bottom. Then files, then mods, and then copy the mods folder you extracted into here. The whole folder. And that's it. And now your mods are installed. And to install new ones you basically need to connect your Quest 2 to your PC and save more mods into the mods folder. So the same process each time. However, if you want to install mods directly within the headset so you don't have to keep connecting your Quest to the PC, then follow this next method. It's still easy to do but just needs a couple more steps. So it's simple, we need to use SideQuest. So watch the SideQuest installation video in the description or click the link above if you don't already have that. Once you have SideQuest installed on your PC, next we are going to download an APK called CX File Explorer. I've left a link to it in the description below. Once downloaded, connect your Quest to your PC using a cable and then press allow in the headset. Open up SideQuest and then you will also need to allow debugging in the headset. Once SideQuest is connected, click on the box with an arrow pointing down called Install APK File from Folder on Computer. Then find your CX File Explorer APK and press Install. Once done, disconnect your Quest from your PC and from now on you can do everything within the headset. Okay, now that you have CX File Explorer, things will be much easier going forward. Now go on to the applications, then go on to browser, and then on to nexusmods.com and search for Nomad. This should hopefully get you to Blade and Sorcery Nomad. You need to make sure it's the Nomad version and not the PC version. Once there, just find a mod that you like. Please know, any old ones won't work anymore as you can't replace the json.db file any longer. So you need an updated version. Now to download the new mods such as the lightsabers one or whichever one you want, click on it. You should read the description in case there's anything different in the mod. Then click files. Then click manual download on the version that you want if it has multiple. Then press slow download and it will take 5 seconds and download the file. Once you've downloaded all of the mods that you need, simply go into applications. Then click on the drop down on the right. Click on unknown sources. Find CX file explorer and launch it. Then press downloads and find the mod that you downloaded. Then press the tick box on the right and press more. Then extract and then extract here. Do this for all of your mods. Once you've extracted them all, they should be in folders. Just tick the box on the right for each folder. Once you tick them all, press copy. Then go back one. Then go to main storage, Android, then data. Then find the game folder, com.warpfrog.bladeandsorcery. It will be near the bottom. Then files, then mods, and paste it here. That's it, those mods should be installed. Now you can go into your game and they should be working. That's all you need to do to install new mods. You won't ever need to connect your PC again and can download mods on the go. Well, that's all folks. I told you that it would be easy. I hope this video has helped you. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. 
Also remember to enter the giveaway. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and see you next time.